Hey guys, it's Natalie and Emma here. Get up on your feet and get ready to worship. <laughs> out there watching and welcome to Sunday worship we will be exploring a new book today and next week called Nehemiah it's found in the Old Testament this book focuses on the rebuilding of the wall in Jerusalem if you remember last week we learned how the people boldly obeyed God and rebuilt the temple this week we're going to learn how God answers prayers and how he helps Nehemiah prepare to build, rebuild the wall around Jerusalem. Nehemiah's wall is a reminder that God hears our prayers. And God answered Nehemiah's prayer. Let's go to our video and learn more. Hey, you know what I love to do? I love to taste new foods fruits, vegetables, ice creams, candies, all kinds of stuff. Today, we are in the book of Nehemiah. Did you guys know that Nehemiah was a cupbearer for the king of Persia? Basically what that means is he taste tested all the beverages of the king to make sure they were safe for the king. I'm taking you guys to the country gourmet. We are gonna taste test chocolates. I'm so excited. So turn in your Bibles to the book of Nehemiah. Today, we're learning what it's like to be a real taste tester. I'm Joel, this is Explore the Bible on Location, and I better get in there. 
I might be Choco late. <laughs> because chocolate has the. This is Jerusalem after the exiles returned home from Babylon. You can see the temple and all the houses in the city, but the city's walls were still broken down. Oh no, that means the city was not safe and the temple was not properly protected. This is Nehemiah. He loved God and served as the cupbearer to the king of Persia. To protect the king from being poisoned, Nehemiah would drink the king's beverages first to make sure they were safe. Nehemiah helped protect the king. Pretty soon, Nehemiah would help protect Jerusalem and the temple as well. Alrighty, everybody. We are here at the Country Gourmet. This place is awesome. And this is Chris. Thanks for letting us visit today. Oh, glad to have you. So today we're talking about chocolate. And we've heard of something called a chocolatier, which I'm pretty sure is a chocolate chandelier. No, uh. no, uh, the, it's nothing like that at all. A chocolatier is simply a person who makes things out of chocolate. And then a truffleteer actually makes truffles out of chocolate. Oh, now I see the difference. So tell us about these different truffles. What makes them unique? Well, each one has a very unique flavor. And some are dark chocolate, some are milk chocolate, some are white chocolate. I'm not good at cooking. I probably couldn't make any of these. But I'm known around the world. In something like 167 different nations for my taste buds. I can taste things in food so deep, so incredibly amazing that a supercomputer invented for digitized food wouldn't be able to taste what my taste buds can taste. I just wish there was a job, a job out there for someone like me, a job for people who can taste food and tell you why it's good. Well, actually there is a job Taste testing is a job that people are paid to try foods and tell them what, whether or not it's a good taste or a bad taste or something that they would buy or not. They get paid for that? I, I would do that for free. I just wish there was someone, someone somewhere out there that would let me taste their food and tell them if it's good and why. Would you like to taste some of the truffles that we have here? You would let me do that? Sure I would. You can tell me exactly what flavors they are. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna be so good at this, you're gonna want me to be your taste tester forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Nehemiah found out that Jerusalem's walls were broken down and the city was unsafe. He became very sad. But Nehemiah knew that God hears our prayers. He knew that when we pray, we can praise God confess our sin and seek his help because we know that God hears us. Nehemiah prayed to God and then he asked the king if he could go to Jerusalem and rebuild the walls. God answered Nehemiah's prayers. The king trusted Nehemiah, gave Nehemiah all the resources he needed, and sent him to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls. Okay, Joel, let's start with this one. Right off the bat, I get tropical overtones. And the leaves, nay, the petals of fresh lavender. Mm. Well, well, actually, that's a, a milk chocolate truffle with a milk chocolate shell. You know what? I had banana pancakes with lavender leaves for breakfast, and there's probably just a little residue. Well, why don't we try the next one? Yeah. Residue gone. Here we go. Oh, so pretty. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> this one's a little spicy. <laughs> I'm getting sea salt, 
And, uh, oh, on the back of the palate, right at the end, I'm getting liver, goose liver. <laughs> That's a good touch. Yeah, so that one is a milk chocolate, dark chocolate truffle with a white chocolate shell and cacao in the bottom. I think you might have mixed up these truffles. Yeah, let's just try the third one. You can get it this time. This time, definitely. Ooh, blue. I didn't know you could eat blue. This is the best one by far. Okay, right off the bat, it's like chewing gum. I'm getting, what is that, Arctic mint? No, spearmint, uh, cranberries, um, <laughs> which is a nice touch. And is that freshly tanned cow leather? I didn't even know you could put that in food, but <laughs> that is a good touch. Actually, that's a, a dark chocolate truffle with a dark chocolate shell. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a taste tester. Well, but did you at least enjoy the chocolates? <laughs> yeah, I did. They were delicious. Mmm, those banana overtones, though. <laughs> to be a good taste tester, you have to be really good at your job and highly trusted by the company you're taste testing for. That's kind of like Nehemiah. He was trusted by the king, and he was trusted by God to secure and protect Jerusalem. Speaking of trust, Nehemiah trusted that God would hear his prayers. And God did. That's what we discover when we dig into the book of Nehemiah. I'm Joel. This is Explore the Bible on Location. And Chris said I could keep this cacao pod. And he taught me the chocolate truffle shuffle. He says if I do it around town, I will uh, make some friends. I can't wait to see how many friends I make. Okay, who wants to be a taste tester? But only if it's chocolate. If Joel had to taste something like fish, I don't know what I would do. I don't think I would like that. Um, okay, so in the video, we learned that Nehemiah was sad about Jerusalem. He was also scared to ask the king if he could go and rebuild the wall. Nehemiah had to be brave. So first he talked to God about his feelings. Then he prayed and fasted for several days. God answered Nehemiah's prayers. The king allowed him to return to Jerusalem to rebuild the wall. You know, God cares about us when we feel sad, angry, happy, or scared. And God wants us to come to him in prayer too. So, you know, when we are having these feelings or, you know, we should not be afraid to just go to God. We need to be brave like Nehemiah was. And God hears our prayers. So as we go through the rest of this week, um, I want you guys to pay real close attention. We're going to have some fun activity time coming up next, and it's going to involve some prayer time, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun and hopefully a learning process for everyone. But first, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we love you and we thank you. Lord, we are coming to you and we are asking you to help us to come to you, not only when we're feeling scared and sad, but when we're feeling happy too, uh, we should learn to come to you, Lord, in all times. And Lord, we're asking that you speak to our hearts about that. Lord, please lead us and guide us this week. Protect us, protect our families, protect our church. And Lord, we ask that you just help us to glorify your name, Lord, in all that we say, do, and think. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, I'll see you guys back here next week, but stay tuned for the fun activity time. Okay, it's time for activity time. Now, actually, I have two things that I'm going to have you do this week. So, last week, um, you guys, I had you guys making the Bible book cards, but Miss Nicole also put them 
on the Crossroads um, Bible Church Facebook page so that if you didn't make them and mom or dad want to print them out, they're available to print, print off and then you cut them out. So what I want you to focus on this week is the first 20 books of the Bible. And if um, you can have mom or dad help you, older brother or sister help you, you're gonna make sure you get the first 20 books of the Bible. Um, you can use the table of contents in your Bible to pull them out. But what I want you to do is I want you to mix them up and I want you to try to put them back in order without looking and then see how well you do. And do that a few times throughout the week. We've got to get our memory working so that we can start memorizing these books of the Bible. Remember, if we know where to find the books of the Bible, it's going to help us navigate through that Bible a little bit faster and we'll be able to find scripture easier, okay? Uh, the second thing is goes with our story. Now, will you remember, God hears our prayers, but we have to actually pray. So, this week, Miss Nicole is going to attach um, this document. It's got 15 prayer prompts on it. So what I would like for you to do is you can either, um, you can have mom print them off or um, you can just um, write them down. But what I want you to do is because there's 15 of them, Monday through Friday this week, I want you to try something. You're gonna pull three of these three of these prayer prompts and you're going to do morning, lunch, dinner. Okay. And I want you to pray using these prayer prompts three times a day, three of these prayers, and then you'll pick three more the next day and so on and so forth. And this will help get you in the habit of praying earnestly and fervently. We want to make sure that we are constantly praying to God. And this will, this, these prayer prompts will help us to learn how to pray just a little bit better. So good luck, and I want to hear those prayers.